Sixers fans, what's going on? I know it's late. I know it's going to be a late upload. I apologize. It's been a busy day. Um, that being said, I hope you like and subscribe to the channel, to the video, everything. I don't know. You can't really subscribe to a video, but you get my point. I uh, hope you like the content. There's, It's never going to end. <laughs> that being said, let's talk Ben Simmons. Let's talk Ben Simmons, importantly, making the All-Star game and, and my reasons as to why he did. This is more of a rant video. I'm not sitting down and looking at, you know, stats or notes or any of that. I just want to describe the eye test of Ben Simmons and what he brings to a team and what not many players in the NBA can say they bring to a team. Ben Simmons is one of the most influential players in the NBA, and the thing is that his shot isn't good, right? He can't shoot the ball, but it's it's so incredible how that is the only at all flaw in his game. Last six games, he's been shooting 79% from the free throw line, and and there needs to be a time of day where we appreciate that as fan base and talk about that because Ben Simmons has improved drastically over the last month, month and a half. The basketball that Ben Simmons is playing at right now is a super, super high level. He is playing winning basketball. He has winning plays on both sides of the uh, court better than anybody really in the league. Um, the win tonight, Ben Simmons didn't put up a lot of points, but the impact that he had on that game was astronomical. He absolutely shut down Fred Van Vliet, who is a lethal scorer and a fantastic, fantastic shooter. Ben Simmons shuts him down in the first half and then goes on to Pascal Siakam in the second and shuts him down. The, the defensive versatility that that shows is, is beyond words. It's beyond explanation because no one in the league can play defense the way Ben Simmons does. And not only that, the way Ben Simmons has been running this offense lately with this confidence, this aggressiveness, it's dominant basketball. Coaches voted him in and not the fans because of a couple reasons. One, because there are casual fans who don't see Ben Simmons as a shooter and immediately jump to the fact that, oh, he can't shoot, he sucks at basketball. But, but real NBA fans like me and you understand that the, the impact and, and what Ben Simmons brings to a team is so much further. It's so much further. You see so many of his teammates come out and say, you see Doc Rivers come out and say, look, what Ben Simmons does to this team doesn't show up on a box sheet, but it is, it's incredible. And not a lot of players do it. And coaches, more than anybody, recognize that. Coaches and players recognize the talent and the impact of Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons has played phenomenal. And his points have been at a career high over the last couple of weeks. And we need to appreciate that because Ben Simmons is playing incredible basketball. Defensively, he is at a, at a level where... Back-to-back -back Kawhi Leonard Defensive Player of the Year was at. And since then, I don't think there's been a player with the defensive versatility that Ben Simmons shows. It's, it's, it's that Spurs-Kawhi Leonard type defense. And that alone takes you to the All-Star game. If that was the only thing he could do, that takes him to the All-Star game. But the thing is, he does so much more. He's one of the best playmakers. The, the open threes that he creates for his teammates, it's it's... If you really watch a Sixers game, just really sit down and just mentally watch the game. You notice the gravity that is Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons, it's a 2-3 zone. He can drive the lane. It can be man-to-man. -man. It doesn't even matter what the defense is. He can drive the lane and attract two, three guys on every single drive. That's one thing. But it's a whole other thing to be able to recognize that in time and make a good pass to an open shooter. And Ben Simmons does that better than anybody in the NBA. That is all-star basketball. It's phenomenal. I, I kind of feel bad because the shooting that Philadelphia has still isn't good enough. It still isn't good enough because I could see Ben Simmons' assists go up to 10 to 11 per game because that's the amount of shots that he gets open for his teammates just by the gravity that he brings to, drawing the, uh, to, to driving the paint alone. And when he's aggressive, that, that is what boosts the most. That's, that's the part of the game that he, of his that is so much better when he's ultimate aggressive. Because if, if he's going to start taking that dunk, if he's going to do those, those tough layups and he's knocking them down, he's going to be drawing more and more gravity, which is insane to say because, I mean, the way he drives the lane and kicks it out to open shooters, it's, it's artwork. The way he can find open shooters from cross body, cross court, on the dime is artwork not only that is Ben Simmons a fantastic rebounder some of the defensive rebounds he gets because of the the wingspan that he has and 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 how long his arms are and he's always in the right spot it's so underappreciated it's so underappreciated his free throw shooting is underappreciated Ben Simmons is one of the most underappreciated players in the NBA and I made a video two months ago when he was in this 
what seemed to be forever long slump. And I said, I give up on Ben Simmons. And you know what? I think that was extremely immature of me because I've always backed Ben Simmons. I've always backed his progression. I've always backed everything that he was. But I let a one month start to the season completely influence how I thought of him. And I wish I could take it back, you know? I could easily delete those videos and like it never happened, but it's kind of a reminder to me to, to take a seat back and just appreciate him. You know, appreciate what he's doing more than what he's not because Ben Simmons is aggressive right now and he's an all-star if I've ever seen one. The coach has got this one right. I don't care how many fans that you guys see on Twitter complain he's not an all-star. You deep down know in your heart Ben Simmons is an all-star because the impact that Ben Simmons brings to this team, it, it, is, it is so incredibly important. He's the best defender in the NBA. He's the most versatile defender since Kawhi Leonard. Ben Simmons is a 2021 All-Star and a third-time All-Star, and he can keep at this trajectory for the rest of his career, and he's a Hall of Famer. That's how good he is. The fact that we still want more and more and more out of Ben, that shows you how good he is. The fact that he's a, he's a Hall of Famer on his career path trajectory right now. Barring any injuries, this man is a Hall of Famer. And yet he can get even better. That's Ben Simmons. Peace out, Sixers fans.